You always hear me talk about how subtle and finesse of a presentation it is. this is, but I've always been that guy that wants to try to do something a little different than everybody else is doing. So a lot of my skirts have tinsel in them, okay? And what that does, it just gives that bait a little bit of flash. You know, you could almost compare it to like the flash on a spinner bait um, or a thunder cricket, you know, um, just that little bit of flash, I think, gets their attention. And simply by adding tinsel into those skirts, um, I just feel like you get a lot of extra bites, you know. Even some of my flipping jigs, you know, like last year on Pickwick, when I caught them on a flipping jig, it was my black and blue with blue tinsel in it, you know. So I'm a big fan of blue tinsel just to give it that little flash. Um, you know, I always see a lot of guys that don't throw tinsel in their swim jigs, but as you can see, my white, my black and blue, they always got a little few strands of tinsel in them. Um, so remember that. I'm that guy that always tries to do something different, and if you do the same, um, I know it'll put a few more fish in the boat for you. One of the other things that we get asked about so much is line. Um, like I said, I always throw 30 pound braid. This is the Tactex braid from Seaguar. Um, it's our new braid. It's a camouflaged braid. Um, and I'm really, really starting to like it. Um, you know, the, but the biggest question I get asked is, do I do straight braid or do I do a braid to fluorocarbon leader? All right. Typically for me, swimming, flipping, um, I'm either straight braid or straight fluorocarbon. I don't want to do a leader, okay? And I know there's a lot of guys out there and they've been very successful um, at doing the leader. I just don't want what I feel like maybe is that weak link, okay? Um, I want to be swim jig fishing. I want to be straight 30 pound braid tied straight to the jig. Like I said, typically you're always fishing around some kind of junk. Um, and when I get them in there, I just, I don't ever want to have that thought that, oh my gosh, that weak link may break. Um, so for me, it's always 30 pound braid. Um, and like I said, this is the new Tactex from Seaguar. Um, and the reason I go with that 30 pound braid is I feel like I get the most action out of my jig that I can. Um, you know, 30 pound braid to me is just that perfect braid to get that action and still have the strength to be able to get those fish out of the cover. To me, this is one of the most exciting times of the year. As you can see behind me, the trees are blooming the birds are chirping the turkeys are gobbling um, this is the time of the year that end of march april may where every fish in the lake seems like it comes up and gets shallow to me that's where the swim jig excels better than any other bait that there is especially when them fish get up there shallow in knee deep water right where i love to fish you know this is the time of the year when you're going to get up there shallow take this express and that Altrex trolling motor and just burn up the mud. I mean, if I'm not kicking up mud with that trolling motor, um, I'm not happy, all right? Like I said, this is the time of the year when I feel like every fish in the lake is gonna come shallow. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get out here on the water. We're gonna show you the areas to key on. You know, we're gonna look for those transition areas. And when I say transition areas, we're gonna look for the last deep water in the back of a spawning pocket. Any kind of what I'm gonna call bass trail that's leading back to that spawning pocket, whether that be a transition bank, whether that be a creek channel ditch. And what we're gonna key on is we're gonna look for that first piece of cover, whether that be a rock, a lay down, a stump, a grass patch, anything that's the very first piece of cover coming out of that transition area, that's what we're gonna look for and that's where we're gonna go throw this swim jig. So get out here on the water and we're gonna show you exactly how to do it. All right, we finally made it out on the boat and we're gonna talk about a technique that if I was probably known for any technique, um, it would be swimming a jig. And that's what we're doing here. It's spring. We've had a bunch of fronts coming in. Um, but to me, springtime is the perfect time to be throwing a swim jig. And as you can see right now, we've just come out off the main river, come off the last channel swing, the last deep water, coming back into the spawning pockets. And what we're going to do is we're going to slide in here into these spawning tight pockets as you can see they're just big shallow flat pockets they got some reeds in them there isn't really enough water yet in the reeds but as you look up through here you see flat rock points and you see limbs and you see brush and when we get to the back of these pockets you'll see single isolated stumps um, these are all going to be places that these fish are going to migrate in here and spawn and all we're going to do is go run around in here um, we're going to throw a swim jig and we're going to see if we can get a bite. Like I said, to me, this is the perfect time to be throwing a swim jig. Um, these pockets get a lot of activity in them. They get a lot of bluegill in them. They get a lot of shad in them. Um, so kind of remember that when you're choosing colors of your swim jigs, whites, green pumpkins, blacks and blues, just get in here and start fishing any type piece of cover 
um, that's in here. You know, this water is going to be extremely shallow. It's going to be three to a foot and a half deep. Um, but this time of the year, especially after those fish make that push, you can't get shallow enough. As long as those fish got enough water to be over top of their backs, there's a good possibility that they're going to be up there. So. And the information Bass University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.